What is going on everybody? Welcome back to EU4 as Venice. Things are going pretty well. As of last video, our ally Poland became a little bit stronger. I, get, I, I don't know if it changes too much, but either way, they have the Commonwealths formed from Poland and Lithuania. So maybe that makes it easier for them to do stuff. I don't know. Probably. Probably easier because like, you know, yeah, they're just one now. So it's easier than trying to orchestrate between the two of them what they're trying to do. But other than that, things are going pretty well. We're doing pretty well, we've got plenty of money, so it doesn't really matter that we're only making one ducat a month right now, or just under two. We did expand our army a tiny bit, 1,000 1, men for each army, and you know we did add six, five more ships, I think, so we're a little bit stronger. In the military department, Hungary have insulted me. What happens if I declare war on Hungary? Just just out of interest. Brandenburg, oh my goodness, this could be a, this could be a really good option. France would not defend them. I think that's because France are in a bad spot right now. I, I don't think it's because I'm that terrifying. And they don't want to fight everyone. They don't want to fight Castile and all of their friends. Um, Okay, we may as well build a spy network. I don't want to... I, I only want one province if it's going to happen. It's going to be this one so that I can connect this province. That's it. Like, I don't really want a lot. And uh, we may give Styria something. Obviously, I don't want them to get invaded by the Ottomans. We've got to be careful. But yeah, I mean, we may as well ha look into... The possibility then of a war with Hungary. Brandenburg defending them, they're not that strong. And obviously Styria would be here with me. Castile said they would join. I think somebody else said they would join, unless I'm wrong. Denmark said they would join. And they would actually, yeah, they probably want to fight Brandenburg. They would actually win that pretty easily. So, yeah, if you think about it, this could be a really good war. As long as the French continue to stay out of it. Which I hope they will. <laughs> I mean... They didn't defend whoever it was I went to war with last, Milan. So hopefully they won't defend them either. I mean, even if France got involved, I feel like we could probably take it. They're not doing that well. I'm sure it's possible. I'm just... I wonder how strong are Hungary. That's the one thing I want to bear in mind. Apparently, I have Total, the fifth biggest army in the world. That is... Um, who are these people? They're doing really well. Either way, that's impressive. I don't see Hungary. Um... I see people that are, I'm allied to, and Hungary's down here at 12,000 right now. So this shouldn't be too difficult, actually. So, there we go. Famous last words. We should be okay here. We should be alright. Should do just fine. Great Horde Separatists. Muscovy is having a bad time. Perm got released. Or we'll broke three, one or the other. The Great Horde's still around and looking pretty scary. Bashkiria's over there, and now they've got this strong blue nation over here. Trans... Oxiana. Yep. That's, that's going to be tough for Muscovy. I imagine we're going to have a very strong Commonwealth. Truth with Milan is over. What happens if we declare war on you, Milan? Oh, I can't because I'm still getting their trade power. We may as well get a claim on them. I think it's time we start making some moves. Obviously, the end goal is to form Italy. We've made zero progress towards doing that. We've taken no provinces in Italy, but we're still alive and kicking and with the fifth strongest military in the world. So we're obviously doing something right. Um, oh, oh, there we go. Milan will no longer transfer their trade power, and they instantly blockade me. I mean, I'm not going to take that as a surprise. So if I declared war now, it would be pretty big. England would, all their allies would join, but ours are stronger. Just not the Commonwealth, but that's not a surprise. This isn't their sort of affair. Surprise they're not up for, like, you know, going after Hungary. Thought this would be right down there. Their street. Is this the province I want? Yes, Lika. Bingo. Okay then, guess we're ready. We are losing money all of a sudden, because I just lost all of that money from Milan. Okay, well, I'll fix that after the war. Cool. Oh, Denmark just pulled out. I don't know why. Fighting in another war. Oh, that sucks. Well, let's call in Styria and Castile. Bingo. Boom. There we go. This shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, again, famous... Last words, let's trap the Hungarian navy in. I think that's their only coastal province, so yeah, that's why it's important to grab this. If we get it, they won't have a navy anymore, so it'll all be good too. And the second we actually occupy this, they'll be pushed out, which is going to be a really good start. There we go. Boom, yep, out come their boats to their certain destruction, imminent destruction. One thing is, Hungary's pretty wide, which makes sieging forts pretty difficult because they can just wander around, so I've got to kind of be careful here. Austria declared on Tyrol. Yeah, as soon as I was busy, I'm sure they'd do something like that. There you go. So, I mean, I wouldn't have defended Tyrol, but maybe they were worried I would go after them instead, because Austria was a valid option. 
just as valid as Hungary. Um, actually, maybe not. None of my allies would join. But maybe that's because we're in a war right now. Maybe it probably looked different before. There you go. Yep, both have access. I just like causing anarchy, giving everyone access to the same thing. Yeah, they don't have many troops left at all on that team. So let's just push through. You go up to Pest. Let's siege it out. That would be pretty good. That should be good. I don't know where Brandenburg are, but even if they get down here, like they're not going to be that strong. I doubt the Commonwealth would give them. Okay, the Ottomans not like me. That's a shame. Brandenburg, are you in another war? Yeah, Brandenburg's in a much bigger war with all these guys that they border. So they're not worried. Who are Denmark? I said Denmark were in another war. Uh, ah, Denmark versus Novgorod and the Commonwealth. How how did they manage this? They were teammates a minute ago. They've been fighting on the same team for so long. It's not Denmark. Or maybe the allies of them called them into it. Novgorod attacks Sweden. That's what it is. And they called in the Commonwealth and Moldavia. Okay, well, either way, they're both still on my side. Um, hopefully, neither of them would be stupid enough to annul the alliance with someone that's also allied with them. Hopefully. Um, Naples is here, so that's pretty much a guaranteed win here right now. As I said, Brandenburg is pretty pretty busy. So let's go grab these forts. All I want to take is Lika here. I don't want to take too much land at all. I just want this to connect stuff up. I don't want a bigger border with the Ottomans particularly either. Oh, they made it down here. Okay, well, here's Hungary's army, sieging out my islands. They are not... Oh, the Ottomans declared war on the Mamluks. At least they're busy. Good. But yeah, this is going our way pretty much. Because Aragon is actually over here, so they might soon go and help on my islands. They seem pretty busy. Castile are dealing with rebels, so won't expect them to do too much, but that's fine. Hungary sent a gift... Received a gift from Milan. You... Not cool, Milan. Not cool. No one's gone after Brandenburg, but they're busy. So it's okay. Covert fabricate a claim on province of Milan. There we go. That will tell Milan we are... We ain't playing around anymore. There we go. Two sieges completed. Hungary's here undoing stuff. That's annoying. Um. Okay, well let's... Actually, we've got them kind of pinned into a corner here. Let's make this the decisive battle, the winning battle. Nope, they're going to run away. Thought so. Cowards running away. Straight into pulling my provinces. Okay, well, let's just go siege out whatever they have. Their remaining two forts. And then it shouldn't matter. I mean, I should be able to siege those out before they siege any of my forts out. And Naples is down here as well. So it's not going to be easy for them to do too much. They're going to get messed up if they mess around. So it's all good. We're making money again. It's all good. All good Teutonic Separatists. That's not ideal for the Commonwealth, who are pretty busy right now. This whole region's pretty busy, to be honest. The Commonwealth is over here. I'm really sure where they're going right now. Oh, I think they're against Bavaria, so they may as well separate piece them. Finish them off first. Oh my goodness, this is an awful looking mess, but I trust that this stack is safe. No, it's definitely not safe. Um, well, they are trapped, okay. Well, let's send reinforcements. Probably not going to make it in time. Why did I get a terrain bonus? A loss. I was here first. Not sure how that works out. Also, I don't know why there's going to be a battle there. We won. Oh, but now they arrived somewhere else. Seriously. Okay, come on. Hang on. Hang on. Come on. Come on. Come on. More. These guys need to win. Now get in there. Save the day. This could end up really badly. Okay, we lost that battle. And, oh, we went straight into another one, which we're probably going to lose too. Yep, doesn't matter. 53% war score. I can probably piece out what I want right now. I just want this. All your money. All your money is worth a lot, but still. Give up claims. War reps, they'll give me that. Annul treaties. I don't want to annul their treaties. Re release Croatia. No. <laughs> Croatia. Oh, that would be pretty cool. But, um, can I take anything? Can I give... Oh, do I need to... I need to transfer the occupation, don't I? Hang on, can I give that to Styria? That'd be something... Then I don't have to border Hungary. I'm just thinking... Okay, hang on, let's change this up. I don't need the ducats. Styria does not want it. Okay, well, there you go. I tried. And that war is done. Bingo. We took one province. All, all is well. All is well. Nothing bad happened got out of it as soon as our army sort of started losing stuff 
we wouldn't have lost the war. Like, it definitely wouldn't have been that bad. But Wait, why can't you move? <laughs> there you go. Get out. We've lost our case as Bell Islands. We do still border Hungary. But that looks a little bit better. I mean, sadly, we do now have to go after Styria to grab this province to look a bit better. But we'll ignore that. Hungary entered an alliance with Bohemia. Yes, yeah, so it won't be so easy next time. But I don't really intend on there being a next time. Unless I get called into it. So it's all good. All is well. The Danish are over there. 25 stack. Commonwealth is busy in Bavaria. Who are they handling this to? Novgorod. Okay, well, they are definitely not going to be occupying that. So it's okay. Yeah, Brandenburg. Definitely pretty busy right now. Oh, Muscovy is in trouble. I know what's going to happen here. Noble rebels. Not really sure what they're going to do. Shervan might be about to grow quite a bit. Yeah, I'm not sure what this does exactly. Imagine it will change their government or something. But yeah, not good for Muscovy. There we go. Diplomatic 11. Finally, we're made to progress. 10, 11, 30. We should probably, all of a sudden, admin is the problem. What happened? Except idea groups. Okay, we should start focusing on admin power again. Who would have thought? Like, at the start, we were miles ahead on admin. And it all changes. There will be blood. Offer with their head or lose 10 prestige, but gain that. Let's off with his head. Let's get rid of him. Um, how are we doing for advisors, actually? Okay, we need an admin advice. Oh, no, cancel. Oh, that's what we could do. We said it's our national focus. There we go. Three, so six, seven, three. Production efficiency plus 10%. Yep, we could do that. Oh, and that just tipped me over financially, but oh well. It's all good. We could probably boot this guy. That works out. There we go. Oh my goodness. Denmark. Commonwealth, what are you doing? <laughs> Go back. Although they could separate piece Bavaria now. Get them out of it. That's one person dealt with. Oh, Muscovy just lost all their rebels. Nothing nothing changed. I don't know, but they're at war with Bashkiria. Things are not going well for them. I think our stability is about to go negative, so I should probably probably fix that. Boost it. There we go. I can only afford to do it once. But there we go. We got it done. Separatists. Croatian separatists. Okay. Well, that's, that's not too... 64 boats. How did the Ottomans get those? Um, Croatian separatists, not ideal, so that's, I assume they're going to be in this new province, so I'll send the armies down here, so they're ready. Manpower, shouldn't take too long, 7,000 away from max, how much do we gain per month? 263, not too bad, shouldn't take too long, should be pretty quick. Austria ate all of Tyrol up to recover a bit of their strength, but now they've got Protestant zealots, it's less than ideal for them. Uh, let's have a quick look on how the new world is looking. See parts of Canada. Still no Europeans here. If Austria like me, that's a good thing. Great Britain. Oh, they formed Great Britain. Scottish, Venezuela, of all places. Portuguese are here, and that's it still. Africa, I think Castile's just come here, but that's it. There we go. Great Britain has formed over here, so that's interesting. Which means they must have finished that war. Looks like they did. Gain to inflation or lose 10 Republican tradition. Gain the inflation. And then I will quickly spend away and fix it. Ooh. Great Britain is now papal controller. Okay. There we go. Let's reduce that a bit. Making 1.4 ducats a month. All is well. All is well in the Venetian. Oh, my Hungarian spy network's got a bit big. Let's just get a claim on Zagreb and then cancel. Our one on Milan is absolutely massive. Fabri support rebels. Now let's just fabricate another claim. Mantua. There we go. How's my aggressive expansion looking? Just going to check. That is the wrong button. It's minus seven. Okay, well, we'll let it go back to zero because we don't want a coalition. And then we'll probably look to start slowly conquering Milan if we can. Ferrara's a little bit harder. Once we get through Milan, maybe we go for Luca. Yeah, we'll get we are pretty strong. Um, so as long as we can watch out for the big guys, it shouldn't be a problem. Stop building that spy network. Ferrara insulted me. But they have all these allies. Like, that's... I'm not fighting that. <laughs> There's no way. But that's going to be it for this episode, guys. So as always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.